To assist RV owners with general maintenance tips and maximize the performance of their Suburban gas appliances, Suburban is pleased to present the Suburban Water Heater series of instructional videos to properly maintain your appliances. Video 2 Series 1 is titled Pressure Relief Valve Function. All Suburban water heaters are manufactured with a temperature and pressure relief valve. The T&P valve is a safety limit device that will open if the water temperature reaches 210 degrees Fahrenheit or to relieve pressure inside of the tank should the pressure exceed 150 PSI. The relief valve consists of a threaded brass valve body fitted with a spring-loaded rubber seal, a coated thermal probe, a manual release lever, and a rating plate. The rating plate contains the temperature and pressure rating, agency certification symbols, and vendor identification information. You may experience water weeping or dripping from the pressure and temperature relief valve when the water heater is operating. Water weeping or dripping from the T&P valve does not always mean the T&P valve is defective. As water is heated, it expands. When six gallons of 70 degree water is heated to 130 degrees, the water will expand approximately six ounces. The water system in a recreation vehicle is a closed loop system and does not allow for thermal expansion of the heated water. When the pressure of the water system exceeds the relieving point of the T&P valve, the valve will open, relieving the excess pressure. One way to reduce the frequency of this occurrence is to maintain an air pocket at the top of the water heater tank. This air pocket will form in the tank by design and should accommodate the thermal expansion. However, it may be reduced over time by everyday use of your water heater. To replenish this air pocket, turn off the appliance's heating system controls, turn off the cold water supply to the appliance, Caution! Never drain the water heater when it is hot or under pressure. Allow sufficient time for the water in the tank to cool. Open a hot and cold water faucet in the RV to relieve the pressure. Leave them open. Open the exterior door of the water heater to access the relief valve. The valve is located on the front of the water heater near the top center position. Pull out on the handle of the T&P valve and allow water to drain from the valve until it stops. Release the handle on the T&P valve, it should snap closed. Close the open faucets in the RV. Turn on the cold water supply. As the tank fills, the air pocket will develop. Repeat this procedure as often as necessary to reduce the frequency of the weeping of the T&P valve. If the weeping persists after following this procedure, you may elect to install an expansion or accumulator tank in the cold water line. This device contains a bladder which accommodates the thermal expansion and relieves this extra pressure when a faucet is open. These types of devices are easy to install, relatively inexpensive, and can be purchased from a local RV retailer. By following these simple steps, you can properly maintain your RV water heater, which should extend the life of the water heater. This concludes Video 2 Series 1 of the Suburban Water Heater Series.